Strap my dude up to a parachute and now gonna pull him behind a car. If you're new here, let me get you up to speed. I bought a used parachute on eBay. And for the past week, I've been getting all the pieces together to rollerblade or bike down a hill to fly or at least get off the ground. While I was waiting for a harness to come in the mail, I've been doing a few tests just to see if this will work at all like I think it will. Which brings us to today. Here we go. Got the guy loaded up in the back. He doesn't know what he's in for. So we gotta let his hair flow a little bit. Goodwill. Here we are. This can be sponsored by anyone. Goodwill's the spot. Dang, we can get a cool looking helmet, but I think he's more of a flames guy. <laughs> 60 bucks. Yikes. This is more of a speed. Five bucks. Yo. Good a spot as any, I guess. You going out, kid? That's quality, dude. It actually yeah. doesn't look bad. Well, <laughs> it'll haunt me for the next month if that's what you mean. I think this one's optional. It doesn't look super optional. I mean, it's not connected. Shouldn't it go to the other carabiner? Yeah, probably, but there's no loop on it. This one has a loop, you see? Probably broke. Probably broke. We got it all lined up. Parachute laid out. Attached in the back. Good to go. Here's the first test. I was definitely not as prepared as I wanted to be for the day, but all these comments saying it won't work have been getting to me, and I really wanted to see if it would get off the ground. And there we have it. Look at that. As you can tell, it flew. It fucking flew. He got airborne. Sadly, we were only able to pull it twice with a little bit of sunlight we had, but here's the second test, and he only smashes his head on the ground four or five times before he gets off the ground. But he still got off the ground, so that's something I can handle. Fuck yeah, dude. Today's the day. Got the crew, got the dummy in the back. We got the longboard to have him ride on. I brought rollerblades in case I decide that I want to strap up and get pulled behind also. I'm feeling pretty good. Let's pause it right there. The day went downhill pretty quick. I don't blame myself for being that confident because this is how the ideal day was supposed to go. I get my helmet and harness in the mail. I load up my dummy with water to match my weight load him up into the car, take him out to an open field, strap him to a parachute, pull him behind the car. He lifts off and flies successfully, and then I strap up myself to do the same. However, that's not how it played out. It started out pretty good, got a few safety tests done, and then got everything pulled out and set up pretty smoothly. But on the first test we found out, I don't know how to tie a knot. Here's that same test run, except from the perspective of being pulled by the parachute. Doesn't look too nice. It was at this point we decided to move to paved road so we could try the longboard method. And let's just pause it right here. Do you see that sign? That's gonna come into play here shortly. <laughs> Here's a slow-mo of the same clip. Look at the velocity of his head flying off. It went a good 50 feet on that crash. So I got a little tear. Got a little packaging tape won't fix. Just tape that up and then strap me on. So ready. So all those tests went pretty good. So I figured I'll strap up. My turn. I got protective gear. Got the shorts. Short sleeve shirt. Woo! After only failed attempts for the day and a ripped parachute, I figured it was my turn to strap on the harness and see what I could do. So there's that. Looks official. Uh, and it says job. in the helmet, uh, not protective. <laughs> Since there was a little bit of crosswind for the day, figured it'd be best not to strap up to a car right away, and instead rollerblade down a mini hill that was right there. And the parachute did surprisingly pretty good. For a second I jumped up in the air, and I kinda dove forward, but the parachute yanked me back straight up, which worked out pretty good. I'm feeling pretty confident in this. Now I just gotta find a bigger hill and try that. I also gotta try not to... Put my phone in the line of fire. Hey, we did it. <clears throat> I got a little bunny hop in and it kind of floated me down, but need a bigger hill. So, More speed. thanks for watching. So to summarize the day, my parachute got a rip in it, my phone screen cracked, but those are fine because I was able to strap onto my harness and test that out. Next, I just need to try going down bigger hills trying to get some air and learn how to control the parachute while it's in air. Then I'll feel confident strapping up to a car and getting pulled like that. He's arrived. This, this is pretty good. Any yeah. day where you literally don't have any lacerations, that's like a uh, super successful day. Everything else got lacerated. lacerated. <laughs> though, that would have been like the best day. All my property got lacerated. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Looks like your tires are still good. 
That's good. For now. You should bleed early. Bleed? Give a little. Give a little now. It kept stopping me. I had to fight hard for that. Because you... Give a little. It's not too late. Give a little. Oh shit. It's better to give a little on purpose than... Gotta put some blood on the asphalt, baby. Have to. Well, I guess if you get pulled by a car, that'll end in you... Well, definitely. No, that'll be good. You'll end some shins. Gone. 